But first, F1 Now is officially over so we can fully focus on Thanksgiving. Believe it or not, it's only three days away. Danny Masson is live at the Westgate giving, giving some advice from the pros on what to do with all those leftovers that you're bound to have. Good morning, Danny. Another fun hat to start the week. I love it. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm Chef D this morning, um, and I, I feel like I'm becoming a pro Thanksgiving chef this morning because I am learning all about, you know, turkey stuffing. And this is Chef Steve. I think, um, you know, Steve, it's safe to say that we all typically will just heat up our, you know, leftovers, uh -huh. our Thanksgiving leftovers, but we are taking it to the next level today. Yes, we are. Take and, it away. And you've done fantastic today. Oh, gosh. Thank you. All right. So um, leftovers, right? You got turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, uh, gravy, all kinds of stuff. But we just added a few things here that would make it a little bit elevated. So a little bit of brie cheese, if you have it. Um, the cranberry sauce, one on each side, it kind of acts like a grilled cheese. Mm. So you're going to butter both sides, put the stuff on there, pop it on the flat top if you have one, or a, a saute pan. Um, and then just melt the cheese and then we're gonna build this together. So okay. maybe you want to put the turkey on this side on top of the cranberry sauce. Turkey on this side, okay. So you got the leftover sweet potatoes. It's got maple syrup, some fall spices in there. Oh, I gotta get this little piece here. Oh, it's attached. Okay, it's, now is this too much? Or is that gonna no, be that's, overkill? It's perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. Then we're gonna go with a little bit of stuffing. I'll do the arugula. Okay, stuffing. Where do I put the stuffing? So, stuffing's gonna go right on top of the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, okay. All right. So this is pretty much the sandwich that we're going to do at SIDS this, this uh, Thanksgiving. So SIDS is going to be open from 11 to 2. We're going to do this. Um, and that's at the Westgate. Yep, at the Westgate. Nice nice Thanksgiving okay, grilled I think cheese, that's, if I think you will. that's good. I think it but looks great. But you're the great. pro, but I think it looks good. No, it looks great. Okay. And we're going right. to top it off with a little bit of the uh, gravy. Okay. Mmm, gravy. Right. How did you come up with this? I mean, uh, well, a lot of people do very th similar things, but I just like the gr the brie, uh, brie cheese, and you know, uh, it's basically just taking everything and not microwaving it like normal. <laughs> you know, you can make a quesadilla. That's another great one. Ooh. You take a quesadilla, cut it, you put four little things there, roll it up, sear it on the flat top. It's pretty good. I love it. I yep. love the brie cheese addition to, right? to this. So now you're just gonna, you know, you would butter this up. Okay. Pop it in the oven. Okay. And then here we are with little TV magic here. You have one TV ready. TV magic. <laughs> Voila. It's ready to go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, my mouth is watering. I have to try this. Absolutely. I think I should try it. Okay. One All right. For you. Thank you. Can we do a little cheers? Absolutely. Cheers. Okay. I got to put this down. That might be that might be the best sandwich I've ever had. Oh, wow, nice. the cranberry and the brie. Oh my god, and the sweet potato in Kira Cup. I'm gonna send it back to you because I gotta enjoy this sandwich. Okay, Danny, I will say that me and Daniela here in the studio are very jealous of you right now because that looks very good. So thank you for bringing us that inspiration today. We need that. You're so welcome. I'll take a bite for you now. Appreciate you. Oh, such a giver. Thanks, Danny. <laughs>